Okay, here's something that uh, some of you might be interested in. Everybody's using uh, tape. I've used the uh, one-sided brown paper tape that's sticky to make a snippet roll. And I've used the clear um, packing tape to make a snippet roll. But now I am using this nice big fat, um, and I have another one of these. I have quite a few. This is a two inch, two inch roll. And um, what, what I do is I extend it as far out as I can to make this end as flat to the surface as this end. And you'll see why in a minute. So I anchor it down with a couple of little sandbags that I have that I use <laughs> for many things to include holding my camera, my camera thingy. All right, so um, here's the snippet roll I did before. And um, it's with a napkin, okay, putting a napkin down. Now, as you see, this the release paper's on the, still on the back, and I could peel it off, which I'm not going to try and do now because that's always the hardest part and stick to something. <clears throat> I experimented the other day with um, seeing if, with the backing paper still on, could I cut it into various uh, pieces, like with the die. And as you can see, I did. And then I just stuck the remaining pieces to include the, <clears throat> the outside cuts. I just played with this. And I found uh, this was a little fiddly because of all of the tiny little stems. And once you pull the backing paper off, all you're left with is a very thin napkin and the adhesive on the back. Um, so that got a little fiddly, but it still has potential and would work. I tried next to use two different, two different other shapes that are a lot easier and it worked beautifully. So you can die cut these and it'll have adhesive on the back. This was the, let's see, this was another one I made here. And this is one I had, a cut I had left over. So I've been playing, this is an envelope. I have since copy, sewn it in my tea this morning and in the oven and got a nice um, coffee tea stained look. I don't know what I'm doing with this, frankly. I'm gonna make some sort of an insert, put something in there, cover these pieces, but that's not why I'm here today. Today I'm here to show you how I use that two inch tape and get this napkin absolutely, almost perfectly adhered to the one side. And then also using two pieces, see there's two pieces there, be able to do a, lar a larger piece. In fact, I did one, here's the piece, which was a napkin, like so, and I wanted, it just is so easy to work with once, because it's not sticky, you don't have gobs of glue, um, you don't have to use Mod Podge, uh, there's a lot of really good uses, plus the adhesive is on the back of the napkin, so it's very, very thin. You can use it over printed material and the print or designs will show through. It didn't in this case because that's not what I was doing. So this is the rest of the napkin. I did a whole napkin like this. As you can see, there's one piece of tape here, one piece of tape here, one piece of tape here, one piece of tape here. So what I'm going to show you now, I started doing just um, gluing, um, I mean sticking uh, some of my deli prints to this so that it would have adhesive on the back and I could use it in many, many different ways. <clears throat> I filled it in with some old text material down there, but it still has the backing on it, so this is useful. I did these napkins. This has two pieces and I'll be able to use the whole napkin. Just cut it like I did this one here. This one here had probably two, one, two, and a, a bit of a third. I will probably use some decoration on here if I'm concerned about covering that up. These are just envelopes. So um, you can put anything on this tape, literally. You can put fabric, but today I'm working with a very thin um, napkins. Now I had, oops, you gotta try not to get your elbows in this tape over here. <laughs> um, okay, I had a oh, credit card. Or, or a key card, whatever you want to call these. The one thing I have found about the napkins is if you gently 
scrape all the dimpled edges on the back, like embossed edges on the back. Because now I've torn this one because this had some glue on it. Darn it. Should have known better. But anyway, that's just a tip to make it easier to separate. I like to keep my uh, backings um, complete because I use them for other things as well. All right, so how do I get the third piece on here? First thing I do, I've gotten two already. One, two, and it's ready to go. And I would probably use this in pieces anyway. But the nice thing is if I wanted to cut out any of this material, I could just cut it out, pull the backing off, ready to go. I can just glue it. So here's what I do. I'm going to cut this little piece off. I don't know where it came from. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm going to do is fold this up or down as the case may be. You can do it either way. And I fold it and crease it. Napkin's very forgiven. So you go to the edge of where it was. Okay, so let me let me get my bearings here because sometimes when I start talking, I forget what I'm doing. All right, so I want to get this piece on this piece of tape. So I'm going to put it up here. I have a, a, a baking sheet. This goes on a grill and nothing sticks to it. So now I'm going to roll out another piece of tape like so. And this piece, which has got tape on it, and it's been neatly folded. I may have to get my head in here, but maybe not. Maybe you can see this. So anyway, I bring it down. Let me see if I can move my camera just a tad. There, there we go. And I move it. This is sticky now, so I have to be very careful. Get my napkin. It's already folded. It's got the two pieces of tape on it, and it's quite simple. Now, let's see. I said it was simple. Let me turn my light on. There we go. And quite simple. You just bring it down. This is sticky. Be careful. And line it up visually, and I'm standing pretty much on top of it. And plunk it down. and fold it over in there. Now I did get, this time I did get a little separation, probably because I'm videoing it. You can see there's no separation here. It really won't matter. It means that tiny, tiny bit of, of um, napkin might not have an adhesive on it. If I care about it, I will just, you know, maybe run a tiny bit of glue before before I remove the backing paper if I'm working on a project and I want this whole piece. So that's all I would do. So that's that one. Now let's see if I can do another one. And my purpose will be to, and I, I won't probably use it this way. There are many things I'll use it for. Sometimes I'll just cut them up. But it really is nice to have the adhesive on, on these pieces. And of course, I guess you could get wider tape, but it gets a little tricky. Now I folded it as tightly up against that edge as possible and moved it up. It would help if I cut this sticky part off that's unnecessary right over here because if that sticks to anything, it could affect uh, lining stuff up. So I'm going to throw that away if I can get it off my fingers. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll go. One more piece sticky as it, it is it is and you can't really tell and this piece is I'm gonna smooth it as nicely as I can over that fold and again get get it as close as I can before I let it touch. That's gonna probably do right there. Smack it, do it, and flip it down. And I think I did that one a little bit better. Like as I said, yeah, really, that one there's torn, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but um, all I wanted to do is show you 
how you can get these pieces very nicely stuck and they'll have adhesive on the back for when you want to work with them. So rather than bore you and show you this one, two more times, I think I'll just maybe do a closer up. And like I said, I could run a tiny bit of adhesive or even a glue stick. Yeah, probably while the paper's still on, turn it over, maybe run a glue stick on those places. See, I did such a much better job when I wasn't trying to do film. That's it. I could have overlapped it a tiny bit too. That wouldn't have hurt much. But anyway, I have this wonderful pattern to use. It has adhesive on it. It's stuck on here really good. And once I take the backing off, it is the light areas will be translucent. And then I can cut it up in strips if I want or pieces if I want. I have a whole lot I can do with this. Hope this has helped to somebody.